I'm going to be using free tools. So if you think money is the barrier to enter into journaling, I think this video will help you a lot. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a Windows 10 computer and a keyboard to set it up. And I use a pen and a tablet to usually journal, but that's because I like to handwrite and I think that's my preferred way, but that shouldn't limit you at all. You can use a tablet with an on-screen keyboard, a computer with a keyboard, or even a phone. I'm demonstrating it on iPod and that's the smallest device I have. So I think if I can use it on an iPod, you should be able to use it on the device you're watching this video on. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open OneNote and create a new section by right clicking in the section area. I'm going to call my morning pages. You can call it whatever. I tend to use my journal as morning pages. That's what I'm going to call it there. Now that this page has been created, you should have an untitled page. If you don't, then go to the page section, right click and click on new page. I really wanted to quickly mention that Mel Robbins doesn't think that we're stealing from her by using this sample repeatedly. She has mentioned that she wants us to use the sample if we cannot afford the journal. In my case, I can afford a $20 journal, but I do not want the clutter that it comes with. So now let's go find a sample of the 5secondjournal.com. It's shared by Mel Robbins itself, so it should be pretty much available on 5secondjournal.com. You can download that from the link in the description below if you want to, if you don't want to look for it. While you're going down to the description to find that, please go hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. After you have downloaded the PDF with the sample, you want to go full screen and take a screenshot. We're trying to go full screen so we can get the maximum resolution. You can take a screenshot however you want. I'm trying to like avoid any black bars. I want the white to white because the background on OneNote is white. Now that you have the screenshot, let's go back to OneNote and paste it over here. You might want to resize it so it fits in one window, but that's not something very critical. It's something that you, if you want to do, if you're pretty much OCD about it, you can do it like I am. After you have it resized, right click on the image, go to picture and click on set picture as background. Now that this has been saved, you want to go right click on the page name, which is untitled page as of right now. You want to click on set as default template. So every time you create a new page in this notebook or in this section, basically, it would use this page as a template. So every time you will have the same background come on. This is pretty much it. You're ready now. So if you want to use this on another device and go sign into OneNote with the same account that you have over here. Anyways, that's about it. So I'm going to leave a sample of how I use this journal, which is what you're looking at right now. If this video helped you in any way possible, please go down to the comments and write five seconds. That's it. That's all I got to know so I can continue doing this work for you. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Geet.